sentences, conditional sentences type 2 or second conditional. Okay, we use the second conditional to talk about a hypothetical or imaginary present or future situation and its possible consequence. Okay, uh, for example, if I had a job, I would get my own flat. If I had a job, it's something uh, hypothetical, something imaginary. Okay, si yo tuviese un trabajo, sería nuestra situación imaginaria. Okay, nuestra situación imaginaria siempre va a estar en la if clause. And, he will, and I would get my own flat would be its consequence, its possible consequence. If I had a job, si yo tengo un trabajo, I would get my own flat, conseguiré mi propio departamento. Ok, tenemos en lo que sería nuestra situación imaginaria y cuál sería esa consecuencia de esta situación. ¿Ya? To form this conditional, we use uh, the past simple in the if clause and in the result clause we can use would or apostrophe d, which, with, which is the contraction of would, ¿sí? la, la, la forma corta de would, or wouldn't, plus the infinitive, affirmative, negative, plus the infinitive, or we can also use could or couldn't, plus the verb in the infinitive. For example, if David spoke good English, he could get a job in that company. Okay, he spoke would be the past simple, and in the result clause we have could get. The modal verb could and the infinitive verb get. And uh, here we have the imaginary situation and here we have its consequence. If David spoke good English, si David hablara, eh, o ten, eh, hablara eh, inglés de, man, de, de forma correcta, ¿sí? sería nuestra situación imaginaria. He could get a job in that company, podría eh, trabajar en esa compañía, sería la consecuencia. Ok. Uh, we can also find uh, unless instead of if, ¿sí? podemos encontrar unless uh, en vez de if, como ya vimos, hemos visto en zero and first conditional. Unless they paid me a really good salary, I wouldn't do that job. job. Okay? Recuerden, cuando tenemos unless, la oración tiene que estar en afirmativo. ¿Sí? Unless they paid me, here we have past simple, I wouldn't do that job. We have wouldn't, would, the negative form of would, and the verb in the infinitive. Now, pay attention here to the last two examples. We, some, we usually use the verb to be was with I, he, she, or it. But when we uh, use conditional sentences, we Instead of was, we use were for all the subjects, okay? For example, if I were you, I'd buy a new computer, okay? Generalmente utilizamos I con was, pero cuando estamos hablando de conditional sentences vamos a utilizar el, la forma were del verbo to be en pasado, okay? Para todos los sujetos, I, you, he, she, it, we, you, and they. Look at the following example. If she were rich, she could buy a new house. Si ella fuese rica, podría comprarse una nueva casa. Una casa nueva. ¿Ok? Well, as in the zero and first conditional, we can find the condition and the result inverted. ¿Ok? Puede estar todo invertido. Puede estar al principio el resultado y luego la condición. For example, David could get a job in that company if he spoke good English. I wouldn't do that job unless they pay me a really good salary. I'd buy a new computer if I were you. Ok? Todo invertido y utilizamos siempre la misma conjugación de los verbos. Now, here you have uh, two activities. Yes, in activity A you have to match the sentence half. ¿Sí? Tienen la mitad de unas oraciones de las condicionales arriba, la otra mitad abajo. Ustedes tienen que fijarse, eh, eh, tienen que unirlas. ¿sí? Tienen, que, tienen que darse cuenta cuál es la mitad que le falta a estas oraciones. You have an example already done. If we had the time, the, 
If we had the time, we'd do the housework ourselves. And in Activity B, you have to complete the sentences with the correct form of the brackets, and you have to use second conditional. Okay, you have you have five sentences to complete.